The one-year-old Labrador has been vomiting all day. Owners Sally and Michael are worried Hero's been up to his old tricks, eating rocks from their backyard. He'll eat anything he can get his mouth onto, so yeah, that's why. Just in case we'll bring him in. It always amazes me how Labradors can be really, really sick and they just look like nothing's wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Hero. Thank you. OK, come on, come on. They have such an ability to hide things and keep that tail wagging and pretend like everything's okay yeah. when really they're actually very, very sick. And the fact that they're such good actors can actually be quite dangerous for them. Something is a little bit uncomfortable for him here. His intestines just feel a little bit thick. They eat everything. I've seen them eat socks, underwear, sanitary items, rocks, balls, toys, you name it. A Labrador can swallow it whole and it never surprises me what I find inside them. When I get to a certain part of his tummy, mm. he tends to flinch. That's not good, please. I think what we need to do is take some x-rays of him. I'm feeling him, it just, it doesn't feel right. There, there is something really hard there. Come on, let's get some x-rays. And if something is stuck, well, that's really not good for him. You're a doofus. This way, come on, come on. Whoa. Hero, this way, come on. Come on. So the next step is to actually take an x-ray of Hero and I don't know how I'm going to do this. Come on Hero, this way. This dog has complete control of me. He is taking me for a walk, he is taking me for the x-ray. I don't know how I'm going to even get him on the table. Vic, are you free to help with this very sick dog? In reception, owners Sally and Michael are anxiously waiting for answers. Hero's been vomiting and has even turned down food. Three, two, one. Lie down on your side. You were happy to do it before. Hey, hey. Labradors are very, very good at pretending that something's OK when it's really wrong. <laughs> oh, dear. I thought I felt something funny in there. But that's a, a really massive rock there. Another little fragment of something there and perhaps even another one further down there. So this rock is about three to four centimetres big, so it's like that. So he's obviously swallowed that hole, it's gone down, and now it's lodged somewhere in his intestines. That is a worry, Vic. So it may not pass by itself. I don't know if it will. If that rock stayed in there and it didn't pass out naturally or we didn't take it out with surgery, the intestines would become really inflamed and unhealthy uh, and in really severe situations they can perforate. The rock can basically open up the guts and um, he's just got intestinal contents leaking through his abdomen. That's called peritonitis, that's life-threatening, so it's pretty serious to have something stuck in there that doesn't come out. At SASH, X-rays have revealed that Hero has swallowed a large rock. It's now threatening to perforate his intestines. But so far, the lab is showing no signs of distress. They are an inspiration. I don't know if that says big personality or small brain, but I'm going to go with big, big, big personality. Come on, buddy. I cannot believe that you are sick. My goodness. All right, so unfortunately it looks like he's got a big rock in his intestines. OK, so it's about this big. Now, sometimes if the rocks are small, we can watch them and see if it will pass. And I think it's worth giving him a chance to see if he does pass it by himself. But my gut feeling tells me that it's too big to fit through and I think that he probably will have to have surgery, OK? Now, if we do nothing and it stays there, it will wear through his intestines and it can perforate his intestines and there's even a chance it's already done that. We just need to be very, very careful and watch him closely. I never really wanted him to have an operation because operation's never good like in the long term, so... Yeah, well... 
has to be done. <laughs> yeah, sad. <laughs> This is serious. Just get focused. You might be having surgery today. I, I Next morning at Sash, Hero is still just as happy and blissfully unaware how close he is to going under the knife. Boy, Hero. We just have to take an X-ray of Hero today as a precaution because we're all prepped and ready to take him into surgery. We want to make sure that the rock is where it was last night. Okay, Hero. Here, I'll just stay here. The one-year-old Labrador has a dangerous habit of eating rocks. This time, he's got himself into a lot of trouble. Look, the rock is about four centimetres big and it was stuck in his small intestines. I really don't think that that rock has moved at all. All right, so this is Hero's last chance to avoid surgery. Hear that, Hero? This is it. Oh, wow. That is amazing. This rock or bone or whatever it is has gone all the way from his small intestines down into his large intestines, into his colon, and it's sitting now in his rectum. It's like that far of coming out on its own. Wow. If you look at last night's picture, you can see just how far it's traveled. I mean, it's gone his whole intestinal tract in less than 12 hours. I'm just blown away. Hero has dodged one bullet, but getting out that rock is going to be no walk in the park. I don't think that this is going to be a pleasant thing for him to be pooping out. It looks pretty rugged and rough on the edges and um, it's four centimetres big, so um, good luck to Hero. <laughs> So one of the joys of my job involves putting a little bit of lubrication up a dog's bottom to try and get them to pass a rugged rock. Now, he might lose his dignity while it's all happening, but unfortunately, that's what happens when you eat rocks. I'm so sorry. I promise I will be as gentle as I can. I'm just going to see what I can feel. Oh, there it is. It is this far from coming out. It is, like, poking out. Sorry, my sweetheart. Definitely violating him here. Sorry, hero. Feels rough. Oh, boy. OK, I'll go slow. Hero has avoided emergency surgery after swallowing a large rock. But he's now facing an uncomfortable procedure. OK, Hero, I know. I know. Oh, OK, there's something. Oh, what that is? It feels like a bone. There's more in there, so I'm going in again. OK, so this is the big piece. Just slowly, slowly. Sorry, Hero. Nearly there. I know. I know. It's really big, this is. Come on, Hero. Just if you push, it would help. Just like giving birth. Yeah. I'm trying to grip this thing and I'm really trying hard not to hurt him, so I don't think it's as easy as I originally had thought. Can we have a push? Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's all right, Hero. There you go. Good my boy. God. That's Good a rock. Boy. What is that? Good boy. I cannot believe that this rock was swallowed whole, passed through his esophagus, down his stomach, into his intestines, and out the other end without causing any damage. That is a really, really lucky outcome. Okay, Hero. You see this? This is a rock. This belongs in the garden, not in your mouth or in your stomach or in your butt. Okay? Yes, thank you. You've done a very good job, my man. A very good job. Let's go. Come on, Hero. <laughs> good boy, Hero. Hero, the rock eating lab, is ready to go home with his relieved owners, Michael and Sally. <laughs> Yeah. I have a little present for you guys. 
Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Look at that, huh? Dude. That is what came out oh, of him. You're yes. Not using it again. <laughs> no, you're not. That's yes, indeed you are. <laughs> So what are we going to do about these rocks at home? Oh, we've got the landscaper coming in this weekend, yeah. so Clean they're going everything. to like... Getting rid of them? Yes. Yeah, and they're paving the whole garden. Ah. Oh. And we a little pit of like grass for him. Fantastic. Yeah. Do anything. Hero, we won't tell any of your friends what happened to you here. It can be mm. our little secret, okay? Oh. Yeah, you just <laughs> wag your tail in my face. <laughs> yep, yep, I know that area very well, so we'll just yes. keep that butt away from me. <laughs> Thank you. Pity for them, they'll have to read do their whole backyard, it's going to cost a fortune and that's all because Hero has a taste for rocks. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.